Yo. So, the Arrowverse recently did its epic four-part crossover event, Crisis on Earth X. Ever since the Invasion crossover came out last year, we've been wondering, how are they going to top it this year? Is it going to be bigger, better, and more epic than the previous one? In short answer, yes. In long, well, it, it's good. It's still a very good crossover. But there are kind of one or two small. Well, really just one small kind of hiccup. The basic story, Barry and, uh, Barry Allen and Iris West are finally getting married. Hey, hey. And their, their friends come to see them, as they would. you got Oliver Queen, Felic Oliver Queen and Felicity Smoke. You've got, uh, you've got probably all of Team Flash. You've also got, ba got Cara Danvers and, Al Cara and Alex Danvers. And you've got the Legends. Yeah. All of them going together to witness Barry and Iris getting married. And yeah, there are some good things in there. But, but by the time the wedding rolls around, their wedding is crashed by Nazis and invaders from Earth X. And... An alternate universe where the Nazis won World War Two, and yeah, I mean, okay, going from aliens to Nazis for a crossover event, yeah, yeah, yeah. To which they subsequently have to do battle not only with Nazis but also their Earth X counterparts. A so Barry once again meets up with uh, Eobard Thorn. The Reverse Flash, now known as Blitzen, and they also encounter Dark Arrow and his wife Overgirl, who are kind of Earth X doppelgangers of Oliver Queen and Cara Danvers. And once again, the one problem that I had with this kind of crossover is that the last year, when it was only kind of a three part crossover, each episode of it, it while it was part of an ongoing story, it still kind of each show still kept its kind of tone. I the flashes, the flash episode was still kind of lighthearted and fun. The, the Arrow episode was kind of dark and gritty, and the uh, Legends episode was kind of large and epic. And yeah, those kind of remained true to the shows themselves. With it this year, though, they also added a Supergirl episode in, and once again, I think it kind of provided. For three out of the four, it kind of provided the similar tones. I mean, the uh, Supergirl episode was kind of you know, fun and hopeful, you know, especially with the wedding and the you know, big fight scene in the church. That was cool. The the Arrow episode was still dark and gritty, and the Legends episode was once again large and epic. I mean, the, the end fight scene is just a spectacle to behold. The problem really came with the Flash episode. The Flash episode isn't bad, it, it continues the story and it's a good one. But the thing is, it didn't kind of keep its tone. Whereas the Flash episode from the Invasion crossover was still kind of light-hearted and fun. It, I think I can probably forgive it though, because it's, kind of, it's going to be difficult to make an episode that's light-hearted and fun when you're on Earth X. But yeah, it, it's, it, it's also got some good points in there. I mean, they introduced another kind of X Doctor Who actor. I mean, they've got... They've had several of those, such as John Barrowman, Alex Kingston, Colin Salmon, uh, uh, hang on, da, 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 da. Da David Harewood, uh, Celia Emery, and Arthur Darville. Now they've added Russell Tovey, who, Kevhuvians may know him as Alonzo Frame from Voyage of the Damned. This time he's playing the Ray, Ray Terrell. Yeah, which is fitting, seeing as he also voiced the character on the cartoon. I mean, once again, the best part of these crossover episodes was the final battle. And yeah, it it's spectacular. Just seeing them face off against Nazis and their Earth X go counterparts, it's just a spectacle to behold. And while some of the members didn't get that big a go in last year's crossover, this time it's much bigger and... You can see some of the okay, members who maybe didn't get that much of a look last year going all in, such as Mr. Terrific, Wild Dog, and Black Canary. Yeah, and as I say, it's a spectacle. But the crossover also comes laced with some kind of very sad moments. I mean, 
I won't give I won't give too much kind of way about who, but one of the characters dies, and this isn't a character whom we've only had a couple of episodes or a season to get to know. We've known this character for like several seasons since the beginning, really, and can ever see them dying at this you know, this late on. I mean, I I read the articles and I knew this kind of actor was going to leave the Arrowverse for well, either for he might. They might have been going to go for good, but yeah, okay, when their character dies, like, it, it's really sad. You've gone to know this person, and suddenly just to see them do that, it's, it's really sad. But once again, it the episodes are just... They're fun. They're just like fun, even when they're on Earth X. Kind of, the storyline still follows through. You get some really good characters... Yeah, in- including a good version of Captain Cold, known as Citizen Cold. That that's particularly fun. And as I say, the last episode with the Legends is a spectacle. Something kind of really action packed. And I do think the ending is a bit sweet. I mean, there is a sort of a small element of the ending with kind of the wedding that I I don't know if people are going to be entirely happy about the long haul. But you know what? For a brief bit of fun, for a bit of a break from kind of ongoing stuff in the Arrow, each of the Arrow shows, once again, this episode delivered, and I'm proud to say so. So, yeah. Did they manage to do better than last year? I'd, I'd say so. Not everything was perfect, but you know what? Still pretty damn fun. Anyway, here's hoping they do another one next year. See ya.